Okay, so um, let's go and talk about uh, talk about the workbook download and workflow. Um, okay, excellent. So um, what happens if I want to download something or I want, or I want to download uh, a workflow that you have you guys have here in the do in the documentation section of Alana? Uh, first, I want to um, all of this. It's um, in, uh, all of this is uh, by using the workbook by using Jupyter Notebook. So uh, first of all, you will need to have installed the uh, Jupyter Notebook IDE. That's that's the the first step. If you have already uh, done done that. You will be able to download any workbook of this section and we do it or run it. In this case, I'm going to check this interactive well production uh, visualization uh, workbook. I'm going to click here in the upper side of the of the window. We have several commands here. For example, we can uh, check it on Binder, on Colab. I, I remember that this uh, this isn't uh, been able to run it properly in Colab. We have uh, to update this into GitHub in order for it to work. So this uh, binder and Colab, I don't think that they are available uh, until today. Uh, but uh, you have this. Uh, you can download the source file you, by, with extension ipymb, which is the um jupyter notebook extension and you can as well print it to pf to pdf you, you can you can download it by with a pdf extension you can full screen mode this uh this window and you can as well uh, change the mode the visualizing mode light or dark and search uh strings in the inside this this workbooks so I'm going to click here and download it, the source file in, in this uh, IP YNB extension. And as you can see, it has been already downloaded. If I open it, it's going to be, um, it's not going to be readable. This is not a readable file. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the Visual Studio Code has an extension in, to visualize this. Um, this this file type unfortunately i don't think that i have downloaded and installed in the visual studio code the python extension i'm not going to use this i'm going to use the jupyter lab so i'm going to open an anaconda prompt or a python prompt and just type jupyter lab i'm going to run it and it's going to start running the kernels start running some instances to create a web environment for me to um, open the lab app which is a web server a web service in a local host there you go it's uh, booting the jupyter lab engine and there you go let me go to I downloaded and the download it's uh, currently on the download on the downloads. Um, last modified two minutes ago. There you go. And as you can see, if I open this uh, this Jupyter uh, notebook with the Jupyter Lab tool, I can see it properly. This is exactly the same. Uh, window of the download uh, section of the of the documentation in Alana. The, the, unfortunately, the the pictures are not going to render because uh, that's something else. That's something com com completely different. But as you can see, it says I uh, have displaying widget model not found, and the PNG image that I um, pasted it's still on the server. But I mean, I think that uh, most of the the, uh, the code it's uh, it's properly uh, installed. It's properly running. So uh, let's keep running this. 
Uh, if I import the fundamental libraries, it's not going to uh, have any issues because the environment, the P P Python rec uh, recognizes all the libraries that I have. And for example, this Alana Pi, I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to just run the import Alana Pi. I'm going to delete this line just for you guys to see. There you go, has successfully uh, imported Alana Pi. If I call Alana Pi, uh, there you go, I have several things here. As you can see, I have the Alana Pi helper class, the data source class, PCA, the economics, the FDP, and several things here that uh, the well type class as well several things here. So it's not an empty empty class. I'm going to instantiate the data source, uh, the data source class of what the, in this case, Alana Pi. I'm going to replace this Alana API version two just with Alana Pi and I'm going to run it. There you go. That has been successfully uh, instantiated. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to Alana. I'm going to request for my um, for my token. I'm going to stop sharing just for a second. Uh, there you go. I'm going to uh, uh, reshare the screen. Give me just one second. There you go. Excellent. So I go back into the Jupyter, Jupyter lab. There we go. And I will run this Alana token get pass get pass function. If I run it, uh, the an input window will pop out. I'm going to paste the token that I that I um, requested in the Alana in the Alana world in the Alana web. I'm going to run it, and I'm going to uh run the root url which has the server in this case the open server and i'm going to call this uh this class the data source the master the master class i'm going to give the alana token and the root url and the connection established successfully i'm going to go ahead and call the wells there you go if i run the seventh uh, the, the indexed seven of this uh, of, of this list, I'm going to get this well that is uh, from the bulk field. Let's remember that in previous sessions we have uh, uploaded several more wells to Alana, such as uh, the YPF wells of, of Argentina, Vaca Muerta field. And we have uh, we have uploaded several much uh, several wells into the database. So just for the sake of of uh, avoiding that much uh, data in, in the output, I'm just going to show the first um, the seventh well that that corresponds with the bulk field. In this case, the F1 underscore C. I'm going to. Uh, add a string with this well name i'm going to by calling the my api i'm going to request the get multi production and i will give the name there we go it's there you go i'm going to create a data frame with this response um with the data key of this response there you go and uh, and then uh uh, I don't remember what this. Uh, ah, yes, this is uh, just um, the data frame that has all the data corresponding with the wells. If I run it, there you go. In the, in, right now, in the server, I have 800, uh, almost 850 wells uploaded. Uh, that you can, that you guys have can, you know, like. Uh, check several latitudes i think that I, I remember that in previous sessions we've uh we've done uh some maps with volume so we, if you guys want to try that out you can you guys can download that that um 
workbook and do several steps that I've uh, that I've done here, just replacing the Alana API version two with Alana Pi, and so on. And you will be able to do all these workbooks. Uh, I go. I'm going to run this uh, display work production. And then in this case, uh, I'm going to run as well, and I'm going to import uh, some uh, IPy widgets and run this. Let's see what, what it goes. This is the dropdown for all the wells, it, uh, only the wells of both. I here in Getfields well, wells dig. I only want the bulk field wells, so I only have the bulk fields here. And if I want, if I let me delete this. Uh, markdown block, this one and this one that has the images. And if I call the interact function of Python, I can interact with uh, the dropdown and the functions of plotting uh, the production in this case. Let's uh, check for, uh, let's plot the F12 production and there you go, we have the old production. If I change it to clap to gas, there you go. This is the gas height and the gas cumulative, and so on and so forth. So uh, I think that you guys can, uh, and as well, if I want to only change a several uh, couple of things, I can edit this uh, in a very simple manner. For example, I know that uh, I think that Baca Muerta is, I, I don't remember, but just for the sake of, of this, I'm going to uh, my API. I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to change the ball in order to have the Loma Campana. It's called the Loma Campana. Okay. As you can see, I'm going to delete this again. And instead of ball, I want to have all the wells in Loma Campana. And I'm going to request for that production of the wells of Loma Campana. I go, I'm going to run it. And there you go. I have uh, several ID, several wells here. I'm going to call again the interact. And there you go. Ah, in this case, we have a, a, a problem with date. Most likely, uh, the production uh, is not properly packaged. Yes, that was uh, the, the issue. Uh, maybe the well doesn't have a production, it's an appraisal well or an exploration well, and Python is trying to request or Python is trying to plot something that doesn't, uh, is coming in the response. And, but as you can see, this development well, this uh, 20, 1021, if I plot it, there you go, it's going to request the server this well and it will plot the oil. Let's see if uh, we have gas. And there you go. In this case, I only have the, cum the gas cumulative of this well. Let's change back into the, into, into the oil. Let's plot another well. And there you go. As you can see, this is uh, the, uh, the, the directional or maybe the horizontal well. It's, it's oil rate and it's oil cumulative uh, uh, against date. So um, I think that uh, you guys have seen the powerful, the, the possibility, all the possibility, possibilities that you uh, have in hand. If you download the Alana Pi script from, from the Alana, from PyPy repository, and that you guys, until right now, you can run everything that we've done in previous sessions. On your computer, on your personal laptops, and on your personal computers, and you can keep doing uh, some work there by yourself, and you can uh, keep um, bettering the workflows that we previously uh, have shown. So um, I think that will be all of it from the workbook and download and workflow.